I was watching this. Uh, I was watching this Grant, dude. It was two sets and it was under 40 minutes. It's about to be a scrap fest, dude. One of these things went game five too. Battlefield start. Interesting. There must be something I don't know. You can tell someone's playing well when they're hitting a lot of grabs. I feel. I feel like that's just like a universal thing. I used to think that about myself. Right, I'm like, oh, if I'm hitting grabs, I'm nasty. And then I said the same thing about life. And now I'm thinking, like, maybe that's just, like, a universal rule. If someone is hitting grabs, they're playing well. Also, wow, that first stock lasted less than, like, 35 seconds. The pressure, holy. Doosh, doosh, doosh. So, um, historically, Cole has struggled versus this character. Roy, like, Roy definitely loses to Kazuya. It's a pretty rough matchup. Given the fact that Roy doesn't really have any projectiles and he does have zoning capabilities, but they're not that good. They're solid, but not reliable. And that's not where he gets like, that's not where he makes his money. How did that grab? Okay, no, that's fair. He just caught his dash back. That just looks crazy. Actually, should that have grabbed? I'm calling that one a DLC hitbox, Nokia. But, oh. He's playing risk K. Oh my goodness. You kind of have to, right? When you're this far behind, he's got rage drive. I feel like taking risks there is probably wise, but predictable, but like, it's fine. I feel like when you start, like, making obvious plays like that, like, kind of showing your opponent that you're desperate, they start to think you're desperate, so you can kind of, like, capitalize on that. It cost him a stock to get that kind of conditioning, but could pay off in the long run. It's not impressive, chat. It's not impressive. Ooh. Ouch. Purple. Holy. He means business. We're going back to Battlefield. When will you learn? I feel like ultimate players are really just the only guys who lose on the same state. Like, go back to the same stage they just lost on. The what kind of combo is that? That shit was ass. I'd be more scared of getting hit by a Wi Fi combo. And you're dead. What kind of, uh, what kind of adjustments will Cole make? Grabs, okay. Riddles is relying on his shield a lot. He's getting some parries. He's fishing for a lot of parries. Grab is definitely a good step. I think it's really hard to get greedy on Battlefield. There's so many, like... Like, it's harder to read defensive options because there's so many more places that they have to resort to for defense. With all the platforms and stuff. I feel like even if he spot dodges that down B over here... The, there's like a weird, like, really late hitbox. That probably still would have hit him. This is something that I think that a lot of Roy players kind of struggle with. So, like, in this exact situation right here, like, this up area is really good. So, if you do a normal air dodge, you'll, like, still get hit by the late hit of up air. If you jump, you have to deal with another up air and you're down a resource. But if you do a directional air dodge down, because it kind of, like, puts you up and then down a little bit, you land a little bit later and avoid the up air. That stuff is really, really good to do against Roy. Also kind of scary, because if you go back a little bit, the alternative option that Roy has here is instead to just do full hop uh, up air here, right? And if you air dodge there, you just get F-tilted or like jared. So that's something that is like a really good counterplay to like Roy's that are trying to safely shark you under platforms like this. Dude, I'm actually so glad that Cola won CEO because my win on him just goes up. You know what I mean? Like the stocks, he just random up B. Don't ever approach me. Would you go to next year's CEO? It's going back to Orlando. It's going to be nice. No, I'm good. I don't want to do that. I don't want to go to CEO. I don't want to go to Florida. Big combos. Quote, like, nope, not safe. He's out of there. 
Oh, yeah, run up Nair isn't really that safe when it's getting double parried like that. Run up Nair is like, yeah. is like day one Roy bread and butter. Oh man, he turns to that landing. There we go, good catch. Nice, Jesus. true combo by the way. Well, I guess it's not really a bread and butter. That's more like a bread. No butter. Tried to up air dare him and then recovered like a five year old. I hate cola. Spectators could be obnoxious. Yeah. I, Florida crowd prides himself with how obnoxious they are in Smash. So, I just don't want to go. Well, it's less of a reason to go. It's not like they're keeping me from going. What the heck? I wonder if that would break shield. Nice. That's a really good timing mix up to do. Side view off the ledge. Dude, Cole is still playing the ground game despite Rage Drive being on the table. Is He's got some huge balls, is all I'll say. Interesting, okay. I guess that makes sense. That's something that I always struggle with when I'm edgeguarding Kazuya, is that I expect the air like the air dodge to the to the ledge here, but he can laser stall and then air dodge, or just hit you for waiting for it. Right, if you chilled on the ledge, you got shot by this laser here. But I guess if you have the frame data, you can just run off and forward air here. However, if I'm zero suit there, I do just die. Or I don't die, but I would have to down air to kill him because he would fall out of forward air in this situation. Just, just kind of painting the picture for myself. I wonder if he could have dared. Probably not worth going for. It would have sour spot in this situation. But might have missed entirely. Nice. Like, oh, you want to fish for parries, big guy? I'm going to delay all my aerials, whittle down your little shield health. Nice reaction time. I don't know why he's grabbing those. He should just have electric on the mind. Three, four, five jabs. Ah, ah, ah. Good DI on the jab. Krom would have killed there. Or actually, I think Kazi is too heavy. I don't think it would have killed. All right, how are we playing against the rage drive? Oh, we're just getting deleted. I like that even though a lot of like like these really high percents where Cola down throws, he still goes for the follow up, even though there's no way it's true. It's just that Roy's frame data is like so good that like if you air dodge, he just lands first or lands at the same time and still gets a punish because he doesn't have air dodge lag. Bro is ledge trapping from center stage, giving uh, ledge jump side B the utmost respect. See again, that's another situation where like, why did why did Riddle jab when he could just electric? Like buffering electric out of parry is easy. It's the same as like buffering electric out of a dodge or a roll or an air. I think I think Cola wins this set. He's got the clutch gene, and he's got like an infinite amount of the clutch gene too. How did you chop? We're a couple bananas in a bunch. Look at, oh my God, this is like, th this makes me so happy. I would do this to someone on Elite Smash and call them out for mashing, cause look at this <laughs> He just jumps above him, right? He's scared of the Tomahawk and he wants spot dodge like command grab or electric. So yeah, he does spot dodge and goes for the super attack. Jump for mix up, Mans is still mashing, probably tried to electric out of it. He's like, he's getting caught. I think that shield poke, this back here is OD. Let me see. Yeah, that, that did shield poke. Why don't you cover those toes, Kazia? Why don't you cover them shoes, Kazia? How much you pay for those? You better tilt your shield to cover them, stupid. Let me see, this is actually almost the same exact situation that we saw earlier uh, on the Battlefield game on the left side that I was talking about with the air dodges here. But instead, Cola just waits and does a delayed up air to catch both, like, you know, both timings for the air dodge. It's a nice small adaption he made. If he did a, like if he did a normal air dodge, he was punished, which he did. And if he did that downward air dodge that I mentioned before, he would have gotten punished too. Bros who bloons together goon together. It's f***ing true, man. Call him out for that early up. Oh, brother, how does this not kill? Like how did like every other character in the game is dead at this for here? Why is Kazuya that heavy? I mean, he should still die, but yeah. The fact that that first warrior didn't kill him, he had 90% rage. Oh my god, dude. All right, game five and a plus 10. Riddles, what are you doing? It's like, uh, it's kind of the same situation 
okay, with Light and I, where they play each other so often, it's basically not even an even matchup anymore. It's just it's just infinite mind games. Dudia. Damn, dropping combos. Damn, doesn't matter. Senor Mishima. You have killed him. Great, great edge guard. Let's break it down. Let's see what happens. He does this, blah blah blah. Misses the back air, air dodges back, goes for the ledge jump. Cola must have tried to like drop off ledge back air here. It's the only reason he would have gotten hit, because he should still have legend vulnerability here. Yeah, he, he almost definitely tried to drop off of ledge or something. He uh, double jumps, Riddles reads it with a really high up back air. Surprisingly, it doesn't kill, so he has no jump on the table. Pass the up B, forward air is an insane move it hurt box shifts so that he doesn't get clipped by the forward air here you see it the hurt box shift he pulls his feet up and then he kicks that way it beats everything below it for some reason and then down here is just the closer because it covers everything see ya laser beams that's a really good recovery from okay okay wow it's a really good recovery from Cola. I didn't think he would make it back for fast falling here. He double jumps, immediately air dodges. Air dodges diagonally up, and surprisingly, the up B beats the down air. It must have been like really tight spacing, because part of that up B is disjointed, and that must be what got him out of that situation. Doesn't matter, Kazuya. Never thought Kazuya Dare was a bad move. I don't know about y'all. I think all stall and falls are good. Which is what Kazuya's down air is. He stops in place and then he down airs. Like any move that like has like an innate timing mix up is like guaranteed to be good. Like raw back air, for example. Yeah, it's just your cooked. Just got his jump caught, got lasered out. He doesn't have the resources to make it back. So moving on to set two. Okay. That this is like a really f up like pseudo checkmate scenario because he has to jump air dodge buffers the up b and like if riddles does it early enough maybe he can just guarantee forward air here because he did it pretty fast i think he just didn't forward air oh he stopped the side b early would have killed too 93 all that rage i don't care how heavy you are up air up air up air jab Run up short hop up air. Caught his jump with what looked like a four year. Oh, didn't catch his jump. I caught something. Dude, that entire stock was nasty. Actually, was that a zero to death? I think, it, yeah, it was actually a zero to death. Exceptionally played stock. I feel like when you start playing this nasty, you hit this many hits in a row, it doesn't matter what level of player you are, right here you're going for the kill. So good. So good. I think if he hit these side Bs, it would have actually caused a pratfall for Riddles, or it would have just comboed into the rest of the side B. I'm not sure. But pratfall into another side B would have been good. Alright, he just donated that one. Huge damage! See, instead of singing, swinging at the down throw there, he just waited. It's a good mix up. Might not die. Oh, he's hella dead. I thought he was at a way lower percent. That shit wasn't even close. Yeah, I, I feel Cola right here. Like, he's been playing counter parry so well, you would expect Riddles to, like, panic and spot dodge or something, or not fish for a parry. So you just go for the up air. And he's still fishing for parry. It's like, okay, you know what? We're no longer mixing up. <laughs> nice. What are we doing? Interesting. Kill a laser, probably. Oh my. Oh my god. He has been air dodging after like every down throw. Dude, so good. Like, there, there's like a good degree of mind games going on here. So he goes for this back air, right? Cola riding the momentum would most likely just 
come off stage with like a side B or another aerial. So Riddles tries to place this back here to intercept it. Maybe catch his jump, maybe kill him early and have like another like really good shot at taking his game. But Cole is just like, oh, actually? Get up attacks fully invincible, man. GG's, you actually can't intercept me. And I'm better. And so what does he do? He does the, the pivot F tilt here. Just a good option, reliable. Oh no, oh he's getting tossed, okay. Yeah, nice, nice interception. Just good, good gameplay all around. Interesting. Yeah, kind of messed up the combo. <laughs> Am I right? That DI. Oh, oh no. That pisses me off, dude. He, it's either spot dodge electric, electric or spot dodge. Dude, yeah. And he explodes. Dude, this is like this is like almost a, this is a very similar sequence from that game where he just zero to death him. Not the jab. He's still air dodging after down throw. I hate it. He should have got down here again. Should have been the end of the f***ing tournament. No. Oh no, he got hit at zero, guys. Okay, it's only 50. Good DI on the jab. Oh my god, okay, yep, you're cooked, you're cooked. Play perfect. You guys can hear that, right? Hold up. This is crazy, cause like, is it really a comeback for Kazuya? Cause like, check it. How, how do we, how do we end up like this? So we got spot dodge punish, called out for being aggressive, took 50 for it. Trade. Good DI on the jab. Just got out of shield. It was trying to pressure too much. Oh my god, he's just getting air to air. That's how he lost. Yep, he kept getting air to air, so he decided to mix it, and he lost for it. Cole goes so hard. He rides momentum like, like even if you thought, like you think you took it away from him, like he just yanks momentum back. He didn't care. Stocks exploding left and right. Yeah, there's one projectile between the two of these characters. That's what it's all about, baby. That is that is top level ledge trapping right here. You could be top ten in the world to do this. Yeah, see, that's the no mix button. Right up B just wins the like. I don't know if you're trying to mix for it, just wins. Okay, well now he's doing it like way too much. He should die for this. Okay, maybe maybe Riddles is a choker. Maybe he didn't actually want to kill him. Surprised he took up throw, not back throw. Greedy. Give it. Okay. I was gonna say he's giving respect to the rage drive, but Riddles just ran up and said, "Yoink! I react." Good timing, mix up. See that move is really, really good for people who are fishing for berries. That's how Marcinas use it. No way he lives, right? Damn, dude, he loses this game. That's crazy. You'd think you'd get to a point, right, where like Riddles would start reading this air dodge, right? Because you have to buffer the air dodge, or else you won't have time to up B, right? Like this up B does. It does make it to ledge, but also Kazi's just so privileged that he doesn't really have to do the mix-up. Like he doesn't have to read the air dodge; he can just cover both. This is this is like immediate adaption. Cola mashes narrow approach. Riddles is like, oh word, I'm mashing electric. That's crazy. That I'll let. Hold up, how did this miss? I'm honestly surprised this whiffed. Genuinely surprised. Down throw. Okay, standing jab. He's looking good, right? Bam! 
All right. Oh, he misses electric and loses the entire tournament for it. Actually, he's playing the stock like except like pretty well. Nothing crazy so far. Okay, but he's got no jump now. And then he has these. Yeah, actually, Riddles donated like this entire stock. Like, how did this end up so bad? Like, he gets the grab, misses the electric, and then just like. Mash a spot dodge and gets punished for because he wants to do spot dodge electric. Oh yeah. All right, gets punished for knocking on the shield. Air dodging down. I don't really. I don't know. Questionable air dodge. I was just getting pieced up. Just Roy advantage state. All right, and then he loses the stock here. Gets his jump sniped. Uh, you'd, you'd think air dodging to Sage wouldn't be the demise of top players, but sometimes it is. Oh, caught mashing. Oh, reads like that? That was actually so nasty. Holy Wow, Cola's already up. What a sell. Look at this. Air dodges again, like, do, I feel like as Kazuya, right, you really need to, like, implement your stall and fall here. If you think that Cola's going to jump, down here is so good. Because if he up airs, it's a stall and fall. So you, like, you stop right above the up air, and then you punish him. And if he shields it, it's not like you're dead. I don't know. Forward air is also, like, a good hurtbox shift, too. So, like, even if even if you guessed wrong, they could have misspaced, you know? Forward air is just the better choice there. And then he air dodges back to the stage again the same exact way no directional air dodge just straight down into a forward smash and dead at five does he lift himself up hold up this goes hard holy sh <laughs> it's okay all right he's still going <laughs> he's yelling into the camera bro he's pissed hell yeah <laughs> Dude, this pop, this pop off is killer. I just gotta feel good, man. Beating Kazuya Bishop. Dude. Still going? It's a never ending pop off. <laughs> Wrap up your controller, dog. Go home. It's over. Crouch dashing IRL. I love this stuff. <laughs> Listen, Cola only has top cut pop offs, so that's, that's the only bottom cut one for me. It's the only one I have a critique on.